fact, the commercial season might end soon because there was whale entanglement recently. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh gosh, it came out again, dude. Oh God, I got jellyfish in my eye. And this side was open again. I know I closed it. Think someone looked at these pots? Don't think I'll be doing that again. again. You ever seen one of these? That's the secret bait for crab. It's a milkfish. Had so much success with that. And today we're going for these. But first we're gonna drop three crab traps. I'm loading them up in the dock before we go out on the water. A lot easier to do that here. We're going for king salmon in the Pacific Ocean today. But first, it's such little risk to reward ratio that it's worthwhile just throwing out a few crab pots. It might be slow because the commercial season is going on, but in fact, the commercial season might end soon because there was whale entanglement recently. I'm just gonna get this loaded up here. Salmon head, milk fish, and then we gotta get out to the crab grounds. Crab grounds, I mean salmon grounds, come on. Lost my hat. Did I say the risk to reward ratio? I really meant the effort to time ratio i think you know what i mean anyway i'm gonna drop these pots right here and we'll probably be letting them soak for a good five or six hours maybe even more here's one thing to note if you didn't know already that these buoys if you're using traps they need to have this little red thing on them now and you have to pay an extra two dollars fifty cents a year to use these traps instead of the conical hoops kind of a weird rule but whatever it is what it is, so you gotta follow them. Now I'm just gonna let all this line scope out and drop the three. It's seven o'clock exactly. I'm hoping I can get all three out in 15 minutes. So each pot of mine has a five pound weight on the bottom. Let's mark the spot. I think that milkfish is gonna be money today. Right, next one, I got only got it tied on one side, but that should do the trick. Just like that, we'll drop her down. Trap doors are closed, mark it number two. As I'm doing this, I'm looking for other buoys too, and I don't see any near me. Actually, there's one, but it's about a quarter mile away. All right, baby, last one going in. We're crabbing. We got a clear deck. Let my hat dry off. Oh, whatever, we'll just wear it like this. All right, let's get some salmon. Well, 20 miles later, we made it. Gonna get our bait rigged up, put the downrigger weight on, and drop down to wherever I see the bait. 30, 40 feet looks like right now. I'm right, gonna get rigged up with the cable baiter, going straight bait, 30 pound braid to a ball bearing swivel to about four feet of 30 pound leader. And that's going to this cable baiter. I redesigned these ones. These have bigger hooks. I still have to pinch that barb down, but these are made specifically to catch salmon and these are so similar to what they use on charter boats and commercial boats with the big hook a little bit of a shorter wire leader and that'll give the bait a nice spin let's pinch this barb down you want to measure about right where the hook comes out the hook tip so right about right there i'm going to put it in right there just get it through the skin first and we'll go right along the spine all the way up Tuck her in, open its mouth. By the way, I took this new seasickness medicine called Travacom, which is the same ingredient as Quell's, except this one has caffeine. So it'll knock you out and then bring you right back. Now with this rubber band, I'm stretching it out real good. So when I wrap it around the head of the anchovy, it doesn't squish the anchovy head. And right through the top, through that cable baiter loop, right back around. That's how it looks, just like that. Now we're gonna give it a slight bend, and that should spin really nicely. This is my new reel I got last year. It's the Shimano Takoda. I love this thing. It's so smooth. 
it never gets corroded and yeah it's got even it's even got a depth counter on it so here we go so we're in about uh 380 feet of water i got this 15 pound ball and i'm going to put this on the downrigger now just to make things a little bit easier for myself i'm not going to clip the downrigger clip to the downrigger itself i'm going to turn on the downrigger drop it a little bit and i'm going to put this clip on here so this attaches straight to the line and i know i'm not going to go down 400 feet so that's fine i can it'll be easy to grab when i want to change baits we're going to mark it as zero turn it to water zero hold it zero now when i put auto up and it comes up that's where it's going to stop now we'll take our bait clip it on simple as that put us in forward good salmon trolling speed i like is about three miles an hour maybe three and a half two and a half to four or so let's get this down see how it spins no i don't really like that we're going to change it up a little too much of a bend all right clip us up just like that i got a top shot of 40 pound fluoro and we're going to go down to about 40 feet tighten my drag just a bit reel down to it right down to the downrigger all right now while i'm here i'm just going to get my net set up if we get a bite and it pops off the clip i'm going to go reel down to the line so we get pick up that slack if it bites and it stays in the clip i'm going to take the rod holder the rod out of the rod holder pop it off and then reel down to it get the slack back so that's all we're doing right now man we're waiting we're fishing now i'm going to get a couple more cable baiters ready to go Fish on. Get this up. Mark the spot. Keep tension on him. First fish of the day. Feels okay. Nothing crazy big. Definitely a salmon though on the fisherman's life cable bait. Let's go. Yep. Little guy. All right, we're going to net him right here. Man, I had a dream the other day that I caught a salmon and I let it go because it was too small. This is a nice one. Might even let it go. No, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Let's bring it over to this side. All right, coming up. Here we go. This is our chance right here. Whoa, 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 Not yet, man. All right, here he is, here he is, here he comes. Get on up into the net. Yeah, go. Oh. oh, no, I missed him. Oh, gosh. Not this again. All right, right one more time. Now you're ready. Get into the net, baby. Oh, gosh, he came out again, dude. Just trying to make this fun for y'all. Into the net this time. Oh my gosh, he's a fighter. Come on. Get into the net, dude. Can't drop my... Oh, he's tired. Right on the lip. I don't think he's going anywhere. Yes. Fish number one. It's decent. I'm gonna get limits early, baby. I'll take that. King Salmon. This year, throughout the Bay Area, they have to be 24 inches. So let's measure him. Yeah, that's an easy 26. Number one, gotta let you see it. Cool, I'm gonna pump some water into the live well. All right, gonna bleed him. Just drop him in the water. Let's get back down there, man. Oh, I love this rod too. This is such a nice rod. This is a catch the fever rod. I got it from Real Custom Boatworks in the bay area they were only a hundred dollars too great salmon rod great halibut rod now i've got a couple 
cable bait is ready ready to go already i rigged them up as i was waiting and that fish came within five minutes so there we go number two going in let's get limits in half an hour man i was trolling that 3.4 all right y'all we're just gonna do the exact same thing the spin looks all right on there i'm gonna drop it down to where my top shot meets my my braid i don't want to put the braid onto the salmon clip because it pops off too easily if i keep it on the floral then i only need to put it on once and we're good to go so so you can see here's the clip easy peasy right there onto the downrigger clip throw it over right here we drop it down to 40 again all right we're at 40. my clip is on the downrigger I'm going to reel down to it, make sure my drag is good, not super tight. All right. Now I'm going to reel down to it all the way. And even if I can't reel anymore, I'm going to pull it just so it stays really tight. Now my speed is only 1.3. So I'm going to speed up. And actually, I'm going to put it on another view so I can see my position. That's where I got the fish right there. My speed is three. That's perfect. We're trolling again. We're fishing again. I mean, you can't get any more better than a natural presentation of a cable baiter. It's basically just an anchovy. It's nothing fake about it. Man, it's only been five minutes since the last bite and I'm like, what the hell's going on? Where's the fish? I guess we do have eight hours to fish. Fish on. Fish on, baby. Fish number two on the line. Feels good. A little bit of weight on it. Not a monster, but that'll do. Man, if we get limits now, it's only nine o'clock. Can't complain about that. Let's bring him over here. A lot of people talking about how slow it is right now. I don't know about that. This is a good one. This is a good one. Yep, that's a good one. He's shaking his head. Stay down. Stay down. He's taking a run. It's a good one. All right. This is nice water too. It's uh, not brown like a red tide. It's not super green. It's not blue. But apparently they like this muddy, dirty, kind of greenish, moss green color. All right, here we go, man. Here he comes. This is a key, definitely a keeper. All right, there he is. Let's get him up here. All right, we in position. We are in position. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. There he is right here. He wants to fight? Well, you got to fight, buddy. Uh, it's about the same size as the other one a little bit smaller maybe come on up here just trying to tire him out not doing it too fast not doing it too slow into the net you go buddy come on uh, come on man man i don't want to tighten the drag too much just let him get tired I'm not going to play with anything i said everything right before you know nope still not yet okay there he is oh nope not yet come on buddy Get in the net. I know you want to be dinner. Yeah, I know you want to be some smoked salmon. Probably five pounder. Nothing crazy big, but hey, I'll take limits fast today. Here he is, right to the leader. Into the net you go. Woo! Got him. Yeah. Number two. 
we're, we're done limits hook popped out already all right let's bonk him all right hell yeah just number two we're done and look at that i didn't even lose my nail keep that for later how deep uh 40 feet yep you got it Oh yeah, just got my two salmon limit. There's tons of boats behind me, and that's what I caught them on. The Fisherman's Life Cable Baiter. That's how the pack looks after a day of fishing. That's what it looks like brand new. There's instructions on how to rig it. Each pack comes with five hooks and five rubber bands. This is what the party boats use. This is what the commercial boats use. If it's good enough for them, it's probably good enough for the sport fishermen. Well, let's see what they're eating. Are they eating anchovies or are they not eating anything? Let's see, right through the butt. I got anchovy in his belly. It's a big one. Actually, that, that's a sardine. Got a sardine in his belly. All right, cool. Let's rinse him off one time and put him on the ice. Well, it's still early and I want to go for halibut still, but I'm coming in and I'm checking the crab pots. And this is the only one that has poly rope and it's floating. And I don't like that, it's kind of causing a hazard. So I'm gonna bring this one in. It's gonna give us an idea of what we've got down there. Then I'll go try to catch some live bait and fish for halibut, but let's just see what's going on here. This is about a three hour soak. No keepers, no keepers. One of the cages is open too, like it's been messed with, I don't know. No keepers though, two rock crab. Yeah, that sucks. Now I kind of want to go check the other ones to see. Somehow this line got really twisted, so I'm just putting it out there and getting it untangled. Oh, God, I got jellyfish in my eye. Oh, from the rope, jelly, oh, God, it stings. All along this, it's just jellyfish, man. That's so weird, very strange. Like it's been pulled up by something already. Oh, God, my eye is killing me. Man, I'm not sure. I think I might just call it after this one. Let's let's just see what happens here. A lot of jellyfish on this line too. I'm gonna try for sure not to touch my eyes after this one. I just don't think this is the spot for crab here. But why would the jellyfish be all over the line? The water looks so clear. Don't know, weird. Oh. Look at that, freaking jellyfish on, see that jellyfish on the trap. Ugh. And only two rock crab. And this side was open again. That's so weird. I know I closed it. God, that's weird. You think someone looked at these pots? That's so strange, so, so strange. It could just be that it's late in the year, you know? All the crab are gone, All the, they got picked up already. Man, no crab, I don't know. Pretty hungry, caught my salmon, that was the goal. I think I'm gonna call it after this one. I'll save halibut for another day, although it is beautiful. Yeah, let's check this last one, then head in. All right, here we go, last one. Last one. Feels a little heavier though, surprisingly. Maybe it's got a jellyfish on it, That's that might be why. 
Yep, yeah, there's a jellyfish on the line. It's slipping through the line. Now my hands are getting all st stung up. Ugh. Looks like two keeper females, but I'm not even gonna just let them go. All right, see you later, crabby. Man, that was a failed attempt at crab. Don't think I'll be doing that again. Well, it looks like it's gonna be a good salmon year, y'all. Hopefully it stays open for the whole season. Peace.